hands come over to me. You know? Yeah, <laughs> or take two books and kind of bang them together. Also, Dan, are these just Skyrim books? They look exactly like the books from the Skyrim. I don't know. The, uh, so if you put in the candle in the fire, it's really cool. Did you experiment with having the hands not be physical objects? Yes, and it had its own benefits and, and caveats too. So um, yeah. it's really a, you know you want it to be immersive, and so when your hand starts going through objects, it, it, it feels weird. Um, but there were some objects, like for the book, I kind of wanted it to almost uh, you know be able to not collide with the book so much. But with the barrels and stuff, you kind of want it to collide. So um, you know, we only had I only worked on this for like two, two and a half weeks. Yeah. So eventually, it got to the point where it is now. We felt like this was sort of the best, uh, the best method until you know, this one was really kind of spent a lot more time. With it. But dealing with physics in any engine is usually the most challenging thing. Yeah. I think you've done a really impressive job with the amount of time that you had. Thanks, yeah, it's cool. You can put a. You see, I put a book in the, in the candle. No, without lighting on fire. Yeah, without lighting on fire too. Have to give that a try. I was almost gonna experiment with a match, right, and have the fire not lit. So you have to like light the match oh, that'd be cool. and like, then go like, strike, it. strike. Yeah, and then go turn on the fire. And I just didn't have time. That's hot. Will the fire go out if I toss it in the water? I don't know, let's see. <laughs> you know that was going to happen. <laughs> nice. It's, it's pretty darn easy. Yeah. So as you saw, um, you were asking about the hand collision. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I turned off body collision, so you can put that object like, right inside of you, yeah. because allowing it to collide with your body is, without seeing your body, is uh, yeah. it's, it's kind of unnerving. It's like, how, how can, what's going on? Why is it? You know, why can't I move it? Uh, I want some stuff. some symbols. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a really good idea. This whole drum kit would be really cool. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Right. Like go close those blinds in front of you and do what I did, like open them up from the inside. It's a really cool feeling. I almost wanted to change the... Um, don't use your velocity to move because your hand. Physics doesn't like that very much. Do we have a chair that doesn't have arms? I actually kind of like it. It's kind of oh, you do? Okay. And bounce past that too, though. You're better dribbling than I am. It's really hard to dribble. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that is so natural. Nice. I think it's right there above me. I'm gonna see if I can get into the rafters. Oh. You can uh, you can hit the take a chair mm -hmm. in here and then grab it by the leg so you can reach as high as you can with it and yeah. actually knock that chair around too. Yeah. So did you put all these objects in here, or were they in here and you added the physics? Yeah, they were all in here, and um, but we had to break up a bunch of the models to, to make them separate. So a, lot of the, like a lot of these were kind of like interior props, and they were like all of them. So uh, I had my artist break them all up, and in a couple instances he added some faces to them. Now the Oculus team says they've been juggling I, you totally can. I don't know how to juggle in real life. In real life, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's I what they were saying. This. They wanted to teach themselves how to juggle. Did you add the little fuzzies or was that? That was there. It was there. 
I can almost smell the fresh air. Yeah. So when you guys, um, when you guys started to hear about the rip, did you kind of realize that these were almost, almost made to go together? The rip. Yeah. The we, we we talked about it um, you know, as soon as the rip started happening. Yeah. We just couldn't imagine the experience um, being as full like a, a traditional device. Uh -huh. Some of our guys have uh, prior display experience as well. Uh -huh. But I gotta say, also, even just this implementation is, I don't think, optimal because I really don't like turning with the analog stick. Uh -huh. It just feels very mechanical to me. I don't really have a good handle on what I would do differently yet. But, uh, <laughs> You should take that ball, and go outside, and throw it against the wall. You know, kind of like play. Uh, what's that? What's that game called? Uh, yeah, you can like bounce it off the wall. And, just butts up. Yeah, but. <laughs> that's like that's it. That's what I'm thinking of. Where you have to catch it after one bounce. Yeah. Look at how the rules where you actually get to throw the ball to the spot. If you get the ball. If, if someone gets hit by the ball or something, yeah, and if they hit them and then, then it bounces twice, it's like the last person to touch. No, you have, to, you have to throw the ball before they run and touch the ball. Yeah, yeah. You guys have a ton? I do. 11.48. Uh, you could try to do a, like an underhand volleyball serve. Okay. It's a little hard. This, I'm actually using physical. <laughs> 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 it's not that hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like the hands actually could be more responsive, but to play nice with the physics engine, I'm pushing them around with forces. Okay. Um, so there is this little bit of a slightly sluggish feeling to them, especially when you collide with objects. Mm -hmm. But um, without that, then your hands would penetrate physics objects. So yeah. Getting more time, I'm sure we could get a lot of the feel much better.